Aloha, I'm doing my uh, recording for making tab comfortable. So the um, the basic things about making tab comfortable is that you wanna you wanna entice your viewers to come and well while they're on your page you want them to stay on the page and it's depending on what time type, type of viewers you have. Um, there are three different types of viewers and I'm gonna be talking about this in my in my recording. But I just wanted to go over the basics about that, about making tab comfortable. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the, um, firstly, the considerations web designers make while working with type. So as I mentioned just before, a little bit earlier, that um, web designers have to, to think about their audience. Um, what kind of audience they will be hosting, well, the main, the main audience that they will be having and they have to cater to this audience's needs and on the next slide I'm going to talk about the three different audiences but some other things that web designers have to have to think about is the content what they're gonna write and have on their and what their web page is going to be have is going to contain and they have to think about the layout and the coloring of the font, these are all really important things to think about um, because depending on the audience it will either interest them or they will keep moving on. So um, the three different types of audiences are the ones that are searching, they are skimming or they are um, studying. So the first um, first two searching and skimming are sort of similar searching your um you're trying to find something of interest and um with these kinds of web pages what web designers need to do is they need to have bold and bright um fonts and um topography fancy just to to gain interest and to um to keep yeah um, attention onto the page so next is skimming skimming as I said before is similar but um yeah they're just going f um, quickly over over certain content content and web pages so again with these types of audiences you want to have things that stand out to them things that will catch their eye and um, will induce interest in them and lastly, we have the people that are studying. And these people that um, don't really need to worry about because they, they will most probably read a lot of the content on the web page. And um, these, these people will, will um, be satisfied with just regular uh, fonts, you know, the ones that come with your computer and um, keeping things just plain, normal, you know, the standard black and um, yeah, and as I said before, web designers have to cater to the needs of the, the audience so if, for example, someone's selling a product they, will, they would want, because most of the people that would be on these Websites will be searching or skimming for products that will catch their interest. So, these people who are running these websites will have to focus on eye-catching colors and designs, which will entice the um, the viewers to buy. And studying, such as like blogs and and bloggers, they all they do really need to worry about is just um, fitting their their blog to the kind of theme that they want. So if they want a girly theme, they would, or a girly audience, they would have a girly theme. But the fonts would be pretty much just um, standard because a lot of people will be reading. And so yeah, so these are the things that web designers have to consider when they're um, doing doing web pages. And and yep, this is it. This is my video. Thank you.